We believe we're here on this planet to do more than just accumulate money or wealth. We're here to actually improve the human lot. In the early 80s, biochemist Peter Fitzgerald started developing diagnostic products in a stable at the back of his parents' house. Today, Randox Laboratories has grown to the point where it employs 600 people in 24 countries and it provides key opportunities for local graduates. In 1976, the troubles were very bad in Northern Ireland and lots of graduates were leaving. So my parents and myself felt it's important to try and stop the brain drain in a small way. So we looked around for products to manufacture. Products which Randox Laboratories manufacture are medical diagnostic kits. By 1992, we had become quite successful in a medium-sized sort of way. We had money in the bank, but we felt that we were not here to accumulate money. We were here to make a difference to medical technology or to healthcare. We developed the world's first biochip analyzer, in other words, we can carry out many, many tests at one time. We have spent £60 million developing this technology, and we are the first company in the world to develop such a system. Summer's evening, I like to come out with the horses and stick and ball, practice for an hour. I find it very relaxing because you're out in the fresh air, you're getting exercise and gets the adrenaline running. It's better than sitting on aeroplanes or sitting in an office. Well, I think I'm competitive, but I don't go around thinking I want to win every second in life. There's no reason why I can't build, as we have built, a reasonably sized biotechnology company within Northern Ireland. The main thing is we have very good quality people come out of universities. People generally work very hard, but I sense there's not enough entrepreneurs. Uh, there's quite a high level of people employed in the public sector, and I think there should be more people starting businesses and developing businesses. If you're self-centered and obsessed about financial gain, I think it's very hard to succeed truly in a business. But on the other hand, if you have other desires or satisfaction outside material wealth, uh, starting a business is an excellent thing to do.